You know those anime chicks that you don't actually think exist in real life? You know, like young girls who like anime and actually watch it and are incredibly hot? A couple of them sat next to me in the theater during this movie. They're actually real. Trigun is a really famous anime that debuted in 1998, and it got a really good following when it came over to America on the Adult Swim network, right around the same time that Cowboy Bebop started getting popular on the same network. And there's a lot of similarities to Cowboy Bebop as well. It's very much a western, but it has a lot of science fiction elements to it as well, just like Cowboy Bebop. Anime fans owe a lot to Cartoon Network. It introduced us to Dragon Ball Z, Cowboy Bebop, Sailor Moon, yes I know, Sailor Moon, but hey! Sailor Moon's a classic, so shut up! <laughs> Outlaw Star, Gundam Wing, Roroni Kenshin, a lot of really great shows came over from Japan to Adult Swim and the Cartoon Network. And I became a huge fan of Trigon. I watched the entire series and I even read a little bit of the manga. And I can say that I'm an anime fan, but I won't watch everything. I love Hayao Miyazaki's films, uh, Dragon Ball Z and Cowboy Bebop and Trigun. I also really love uh, most of Death Note until later in the series. Usually when an anime film is made that's based off of a TV series, it's never as good as the show, and the creators almost always make it because the show is suddenly really famous, so hey, we gotta make some more. And so a lot of times it's not that great. Not the case here. If you're gonna keep getting in my way... Trigun's about a character named Vash, and he's more well known by what everyone else knows him by, Vash the Stampede. He has a 60 billion double dollar bounty on his head, which is a term they use in this world. And he's known as the most dangerous man alive, but it's interesting because he's never actually killed a person in his life. He's taken a vow to never kill someone. He's just always in the wrong place at the wrong time. He'll be in the middle of a bank robbery or something and, and everyone gets killed and everyone just assumes it's him. You know, some giant explosion will happen and he happens to be nearby and they just assume it's him. And so he's gotten this reputation for being this horrible killer and everyone's afraid of him, but he's actually an incredibly innocent, childlike person who is hilarious. I'm the one who threw the die on this one. You save someone like Gasback, he just goes out there and kills more people. People like my mother! This villainous man is uh, supposedly going towards this city where Vash is because he has a grudge against some people there. Vash meets this girl who has a grudge against the villain and everyone is intertwined in this huge story that involves something that happened 20 years ago and eventually it all leads to a big climactic confrontation which was really riveting and this is one of the better anime movies I've ever seen actually. It's because the creators of the show did the character and did the entire story of Trigun Justice. One of the things about anime movies is a lot of times they're made because wow somebody just realized hey this show we made is really popular we should make a couple of movies too. There hasn't been an original Trigun animation in over 10 years. And that's because the creators weren't just going to sell out and make some movie just based on Trigun's popularity. So I really, really respect that. This film looks beautiful. The animation's fantastic. It has such a cool western atmosphere. I love the combination of sci-fi and western. That's what Cowboys and Aliens had this year that I really, really dug. Cowboy Bebop and Trigun have it as well, and they're two of my favorite animes. The villain in this film is really well realized. He's not just some faceless evil guy. He has a plan. He has an agenda. He has a reason for doing what he's doing, and you understand why he's doing it. Same goes for the supporting characters. The girl that Vash meets, Wolfwood, comes back. Uh, if you know about Trigun, you, you recognize that name. The characters of Millie and Merrill are back and they're still really funny. All the characters in this film have a really good motivation for why they're there. They're not just there because, oh, they're from the show or whatever. The film has such a wonderful sense of humor and really well animated action. I really enjoyed Trigon. It's definitely a really good anime film. You think the guy you just tossed will turn out to be a lucky one? Here's really my only flaw with the film, and it's not so much a flaw that I have, but it's a flaw that you might have. If you're not a fan of anime, 
you'll definitely not enjoy this film as much as I did. If you're not a fan of Trigun, there will definitely be things that you won't understand in this film as well. It's because it's one of those movies that you kind of have to have seen the show or at least understand parts of it. So really, if you haven't seen the show of Trigun, you probably shouldn't see the movie. So I would give Trigun an A- minus because I like anime, I like Trigun, and this is an incredibly well-made anime film that pleases the fans and definitely has them in mind. However, if you are not an anime fan and you just appreciate this kind of animation, or if you're not even into that animation, I would lower that grade considerably. I, however, am and love Trigun, so I would give it a very high grade. It's a very, very well-made anime. I don't want you to jump into this. Always trying to steal the spotlight. So I am going to have more anime reviews coming your way. I've already done one for Dragon Ball Z. I'm planning on doing one for Cowboy Bebop, and you can look forward to that. Until next time, you can subscribe to my channel and get stuckmanized. <laughs>